Black History Month means to me uh, the beautiful struggle that regardless of the barriers that we face as individuals or community, we continue to strive and succeed. It's an opportunity to look at our, our leaders who have left us and think about the work they did and to build on that so that our kids and the next generation have a better Long Beach. I like to look at it as an opportunity to inhale, like take it all in. The grit and the glory um, and all of the, all of the grace, all of the things that come um, within the excellence of, of being black. And it's a time to exhale also and really celebrate that excellence. I'm very proud of the schools that have, are named after African Americans in the city of Long Beach. Ernest McBride, Barbara Smith, Mary Butler. I'm very proud of the Martin Luther King statue that stands in King Park a large group of African-Americans, men and women, put their efforts together to raise money to erect that statue, and it still stands today. In the city of Long Beach, we're one of the most diverse communities in the entire state. I do enjoy a number of activities that we have focused towards the African-American community, like the MLK Parade. We also have the Juneteenth event now, which is just one great opportunity to celebrate black history. So when I think about the city of Long Beach, I think about great events where black people are getting to commune and celebrate all of our achievements. COVID-19 has significantly impacted our black community in Long Beach. It's kind of threefold. So the pandemic itself, severe economic crisis, and then also the socio-political unrest that you know has been taking place over the last couple of years. So all of that impacted together has definitely caused a lot of strain. The Racial Equity and Reconciliation Initiative is something that the City of Long Beach took on a year and a half ago, and we are moving forward. It's basically our strategic plan. We realize that we need culturally relevant services and provision, and we've able, been able to do that through our CARES dollars, our Long Beach Recovery Act dollars. We've even put in some structural funding to be able to get mental health services out to folks, help businesses get back on their feet. We get to focus on our youth and our babies um, with early childhood and youth development and all the different resources that we can now um, invest in. As a young man who's gone through the Long Beach Unified School District, historically, unfortunately, the black and brown communities have often underperformed. But I'm happy to report that the district is spending a heightened effort towards these communities in particular through our male academy, We've introduced wellness centers at our high school campuses, which provide a more conducive social setting for our black and brown students. And obviously, we want to focus on our academics as well. So we've instituted the Learning Acceleration Plan, which is providing additional tutoring opportunities and additional opportunities for our students to do credit recovery so that they can continue on their academic goals. I think we're at an inflection point in Long Beach in the future holds a number of things. We're updating the College Promise, there's a racial equity lens to help more of our students go to college. We've just expanded our free bus pass and transit service for all students in the city. And then we're also recovering from the pandemic, building new bridges, buildings, and putting people back to work. We uh, unfortunately lost some of our uh, icons in the community in, in the last year. Uh, Mother Doris, who was the first African-American female city council member and member of the Harbor Commission, leaves a legacy of affordable housing, job creation, and then John Rambo, who's an Olympian who passed away. John Rambo was the first male Olympian to go to the Olympics to win a medal, mentored many, many young men and women on what it takes to be successful. He never left the community. He always was giving back. If I look at our current administration in Long Beach, I think the young people are all on the same accord. They're striving for the next level. They have learned from their elders, they have received the wisdom, and they're acting upon it now. They're acting upon it.